Hi, my name is Caroline Gillis. I'm the Science Director at the Restigouche River Watershed Management Council and biologist with GMRC. Uh, what we're doing today is isotope sampling. So we have American eels that we sample throughout the summer. And what we're doing now is extracting tissue, so muscle tissue from the American eel. And then what we're doing is drying them out and then creating a powder so then we can sample the isotopic signatures uh, of the American eel. This is going to give us an idea of where the eel was feeding depending if it was in brackish waters, fresh water, or salt water. So for the isotopic uh, signatures we dissect uh, the American eel muscle tissue which is near the dorsal fin and then by extracting that we put them in the drying oven for a period of 24 hours at 60 degrees Celsius and then once we get them out of the oven, we put them in a desiccator for them to not have too much moisture. And then we uh, make them into powder, and then we send them off to the lab at uh, Sin Lab at the University of New Brunswick in Fredericton. We also do isotopic signatures for the prey of the American eel. So the preys that are found uh, in the freshwater, the brackish waters, and also the salt water. So what we do, we do exactly the same thing, but we don't dissect. So we uh, do a pooling of the prey, so let's say freshwater invertebrates. We put them all together in one tin cup, put them in the oven, and then create a powder as well. So then we can find the enrichment of carbon and nitrogen within the prey, and then we can correlate their diet with their location. Also what we're doing today is the otolith extraction. So otoliths are bones that are in the ears of fish and then when you extract them you can uh, it's a white structure we'll show them to you later and it, it's a bone and we can calculate the age of the fish so by counting the rings of age like you would do on a tree you can calculate the age of the American eel. Uh, to find the otoliths in the fish it's quite tedious so we dissect uh, near the brain of the American eel and with a scalpel we go in and extract with uh, forceps the um, otoliths from the capsule and then um, then we can put them aside and age them later. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you learned much on our American eel tracking and uh, the isotopes as well as the otoliths. Thank you.